what about when we did win the Conference League last season? That <laughs> open top bus parade, how was it for you? Can we talk about the night out after the final? <laughs> Do you have a highlight? I mean, I would say highlight. Obviously, the Conference League final was absolutely amazing. But is there any other those games on those journey, the journey over the last couple of years that really stand out for you? Um, Leon away um, was a great result um, to win 3-0 in their stadium and, and progress into the semi-final was a magical night. Um, and that's probably the night we thought that we're going to go on and win the tournament. Unfortunately, we didn't. Um, but that was certainly a special night. But what about when we did win the Conference League last season? <laughs> that open top bus parade, how was it for you? Can we talk about the night out after the final? <laughs> no, we can't I mean, disclose that. <laughs> could we not? No. I was thinking if I was still playing, I think I would have gone on for a couple of days. <laughs> thinking and then, and then on, onto the bus. Uh, that was just unbelievable. I think the history that West Ham has um, me being a ball boy at Upton Park as a kid never getting to, to have the opportunity to play there but go past the stadium all the fans and and go down the road and go into the Stratford Town Centre was, was really iconic and to see that probably I won't a few fans may have seen that before but some may never see that again um, so yeah it was just a memory that will, will live forever for, for West Ham fans and especially that that group, um, I'm sure we'll come together in the next 10, 20 years and always remember that day and that'll be um, such a nice feeling. Mo, when you, I've been in the dressing room at uh, London Stadium, there's pictures of the trophy, you know, bus parade and all those scenes of West Ham winning a trophy. As we go into the Europa League now, it starts on Thursday. Does it kind of inspire you that we could actually do it again this season, get to the final in Dublin and win the thing? Um, yeah, I think... Um... Um, that's the aspiration of um, every club to do well in the league and also um, perform very well in in Europe. So definitely, it's part of the goals. But um, it's, it's it's a long way today, you know. So for now, we just focus on the group stage games and then we take it from there, one game at a time, and then we see how everything goes. But definitely, it's part of the goal. And since you've joined, have you had much more contact with the Ghanaian Hammers? I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw some. Some of the um, their flags in the game we played on the weekend with the Kanye Hammers and yeah, like I said, um, it's nice to see um, them supporting West Ham even before I even came here. So me coming here is and it emerges very well with with what they are doing and like I said, they they, they are more than just fans, you know, because um, they 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 open opportunities and support a lot of um, projects back home in Ghana. So it's. It's bigger than just football for me and I appreciate that and, and it motivates me to even um, do well and definitely um, I'll do my best to support in any best way I can with it. Uh, Ginge, we hear a lot about the uh, Ghanaian Hammers. I've never heard a thing from the Welsh Hammers. There's a big, there's a big Welsh Hammers. Is there? Yeah. Really? really? Big. I didn't know it until I signed for West Ham, but that's, I suppose, the same as anyone. Any club you go to, you don't realise where the fans are, but certainly in South Wales, where I was from, when I signed, there was, there was massive amounts. I've got a big family, so it wasn't just them as well. But um, I think I think there's West Ham fans everywhere you go. You know, we went to we went to Australia uh, pre-season, go so, you know Sydney and Perth, and it, it, there's just massive amounts of West Ham fans. And and that's credit to the boys, credit to the manager, credit to everyone at the football club because that is the way West Ham have been going the last last couple of years. You know, win certainly last year, winning trophies and and being up there in the Premier League. That's what it does, you know, and that's what we all want from the football club to to progress it. You know, the fan base is getting bigger and I say the signings we made, the, the players we're attracting now is, is, is credit to everyone at the football club.